What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Three Under Par YouTube channel, where we believe little white ball is life. I am Scotty T, and if you've been following this podcast, we are a golf podcast. That's how we started off, and we've been doing it for the last year. And now we're branching out in the YouTube. We started recording all of our podcast episodes and putting them up on YouTube. But one thing we wanted to do with YouTube was also golf course reviews. Anytime that we play golf, we're going to be taking pictures, photos, and then we're going to be coming back here and reviewing that golf course. We are based here in Houston, Texas. So probably start off with a lot of Houston courses and just courses across the country. For this very first video that is like this, welcome. If you like it, click that like button and comment below on what course you would like us to come and review. And for this first video, we are going to, I'm going to be re reviewing Northwood Club. Northwood Golf Club is located in Dallas, Texas, and it was host of the 1952 U.S. Open. Pretty amazing stuff. That tournament was won by Julius Boros, which I didn't really know much about Boros before I did some research on it. He won three majors. He's in the World Golf Hall of Fame. Pretty electric. Northwood Golf Club. I love it because, A, it's in the middle of Dallas, so it's really easy to get to location-wise. I also love it because there are no houses on the golf course that's a big deal for a golfer like myself it is very old school they redid the course actually about three years ago and it opened just two years ago now or about two years ago it's coming up on two years and it's great now i wish during the renovation this is going to be part of my review i wish during the renovation they did not have bent grass greens so beforehand they had bent grass greens it's hot down here in texas all right Especially come summertime, it is hard to keep those greens cool enough. There are fans everywhere. It's hard to keep them cool enough because the grass dies. Now, we played it the third week of January. That is the prime time. So the greens were amazing. Now, being down here in Houston, it's too hot for bent grass. I'm not used to bent grass. Put me on Bermuda any day of the week. Big fan of champion Bermuda. There have been a lot of courses in the DFW area who have made that transition from bent grass to Champion Bermuda, which I'm a big fan of Champion Bermuda. A lot of courses in the south in particular are moving over to Champion Bermuda. But for some reason, whenever Northwood, they redid the entire golf course and chose to keep bent grass greens. Personally, I don't like it. I think it was a mistake because Champion Bermuda can play exactly like bent grass if you do it correctly. And Northwood Club, it is a very nice country club in Dallas. Those guys had the money. Those guys could do it. But they chose not to. More power to them. They're still one of the only golf courses in the Metroplex that has bent grass. Maybe that's one thing that attracted them to making sure that they had bent grass greens. So, didn't really like that, but the golf course itself is spectacular. With the renovations that was going on, they were able to lengthen it about 300 yards. It really only tipped out to 6,800, and now it tips out to 7,100. The slope and the rating. Now, we played it all the way back. If we're going to go play, we got to go play all the way back. 75.3, 141. Ain't no cupcake of a golf course. One thing that was really cool is that, especially down here in Houston, it's very flat. But when you get up, at least in that part, there's a little hills undulations that was pretty neat. There's one spot in particular where if you looked around the entire panoramic view, you got to see like seven or eight holes. I love that. Again, no houses either, so you, the holes just go right back and forth from each other. There's a ravine that you got hit over on one par five. So it was an amazing experience. Uh, really thankful to get to play a golf course like that. Golf courses like that give me hope. There are a lot of golf courses out there that are kind of you know, new age, typical golf courses. Those are fine, and there are purposes for that. Now, I like to play a lot of golf. I play as golf as much as I can because Little White Ball is life. But also, myself, KJ, T-Bone, we all play college golf. So we play golf at a relatively high level. So I enjoy courses like this. I enjoy a challenge where I got to work the ball right to left, left to right off the tee. And one thing that was great about Northwood is that, especially with the greens being so quick, is that those pins can get really tight. And it was funny when the guy I was playing with, he thought the greens were kind of big because the course he plays at has really tiny greens. I thought those greens were really small compared to what I was used to playing. 
it felt like trying to hit on dimes. Now, it wasn't as small as like a Pebble Beach or something like that, but the greens were a little bit smaller. So those pins, they can get on some shelves. It can get pretty tricky out there. I don't think a course like that, Northwood, could host the U.S. Open anymore like it did in 1952, but it could host a really good maybe Texas Amateur or Mid-Am or something to that effect. I think Northwood is fantastic. So for all these golf courses that we do, I'm going to give it on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, I don't know as much about golf architecture. I just, I'm just i going to base the scoring of whether or not I had a good time. Maybe some of that's going to have to do with who I play with. Maybe something is going to have to do with how I play, <laughs> to be honest. But overall, Northwood Golf Club, I will give it an 8.8. It's an amazing experience. Probably one of the better courses in the Metroplex. Any course that I give over a 9, that is going to be like the creme de la creme, one of the best courses in the state. That's why I'm giving Northwood an 8.8. .8. In my opinion, if they had made the greens champion Bermuda, it would be over a 9 because, of course, the design, layout, undulations, just you and the golf course. It's so cool. 8.8 .8 is my score for Northwood Golf Club. Again, if you like this video, comment below on where you would like for us to come out and review your golf course. We can definitely do that. Me, KJ, T-Bone, we would all love to do something like that. Comment below, like this video if you like it, and then subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date, not only with the podcast, but the podcast clips, but also with something like this. Thanks everybody again for tuning in. I'm Scotty T for Three on a Par, where a little white ball is life.